Hello everyone, my name is Ira Fay, and I'm excited to show you this game from the 2023 World Tournament for War of the Ring. And I am now playing my second game against Mixer259 in our best of three match. I will not, I will give everybody a moment, I'm about to spoil the results from game one. You can pause it and watch the video for game one if you want. I won game one. So this is the round of 128. There are 128 players left in the tournament. And we started with something like 165 or maybe even 170. It was a lot of, a lot of players. It was the biggest biggest world tournament so far. And I, I won game one as Shadow pretty handily, just with some good luck and great card draw, even though my opponent, I think, played very well. And we're starting game two. We gave free people two tokens. So I do have the card draw token and the muster token, which I'm excited to have as three people. And I got Dane Ironfoot's Guard, which I'm always happy to see, and Dead Men of Dunharrow, which can accelerate getting Aragorn. If I move him into Rohan, he can then teleport into Pilar Gear and then get crowned in Pilar Gear. That's one of the locations that Aragorn can get crowned. So I'm perfectly happy with these cards. And I rolled two character dice. My opponent allocated zero eyes, but then rolled three. But they also got three musters. So not the most aggressive military turn, but they did get their musters, so that's not bad. All right, I start by moving the fellowship, because that's what we do. They miss. Isengard goes to war. I move again. They miss again on three dice. Very unlikely to get missed twice on three eyes. That is... I don't know what it's like close it's like 60 percent to miss on the first one but then yeah the odds of getting missed twice that's like 20 percent, maybe even less unlucky start okay um they get sauron to war i muster the elves they move armies in a normal way north dunland to moria and baradur to gorgoroth preparing a double attack on the elves. Though, to be fair, I am mustering up elves, and I might be able to get there before them. All right, so I muster elves more. They get Saruman, and now I don't think I'm going to use my token here. We're talking a little bit about last game. All right, and then I pass, yeah. So, all right, they get, they get Shadows Gather, good. Oh, and they drew half orcs and goblin men at the beginning of the game. Yeah, I mean these are these are good, decent cards. Worm tongue is not, I think, particularly useful, but uh, wizard staff, very nice, can save you a lot of corruption. It does slow down Gandalf, but it can save a lot of corruption. So I have plenty of great cards to play. Riders of Theoden is great. I would I would be happy to play Dan Ironfoot's guard with a palantir. So they allocate an eye. They roll no more, and I get. Nice roll. All right, so what am I thinking here? One option is wizard staff and then move and move the fellowship and not get Gandalf this round. Chances of getting Gandalf killed off with one movement plus maybe a ring for a second movement, possible, but relatively unlikely. I also wonder is there any sort of Dead Men of Dunharrow action where, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, and do I go ahead and play this Palantir first to get the redraw from Gandalf? That's interesting. All right, so we'll see. I'm going to pass. They move armies. Right. So, okay, so now they're threatening to come at Lorien pretty fast. So I only rolled one muster plus the Will of the West, which I'm reluctant to use on a muster, though I guess I could. Um, I think I, I was waiting to see them, you know, come towards Lorien. Am I going to, I think I'm going to muster the elves towards war now with the action token. And we see the power of the action tokens here to help balance the game. And yes, so I muster the elves towards war. They are now at war. They're getting the witch king, but I'm getting to muster in Lorien once before they arrive. So I have an extra elite there. That makes this combat, they have 10 hit points. I have seven hit points. It makes it a little harder. There's a chance that they won't take that. All right, they get the Witch King, shows up in Lorien. I move the Fellowship. So I'm moving once. 
I think that makes sense. I want to keep the fellowship going. If Gandalf dies here, if I if they manage to roll a six, I think I'll be perfectly happy to kill off Gandalf and get um and get him without playing wizard staff and just give up on wizard staff. If they miss, I'm not sure that I spend a ring to move again. Maybe I do. All right, so they miss. I think maybe I spend a ring to move again. Okay, they play we come to or they play half orcs and goblin men powering up Lorien. That's nice. That's an extra leadership that's relevant right now. And it's just more hit points. Now they have 12 to my 7. That's nicer. They have they don't have particularly useful cards to play, but you can cycle worm tongue, so that's not bad. And I play wizard staff here. Okay, so I guess I don't want to be getting hit through Moria. I'm willing to delay Gandalf a little bit. I don't know. What would you do there? Would you use a ring to move again with wizard staff? I mean, would would you use a ring for this Palantir? I think I'm just wary of giving them rings, and I'm happy to cycle cards. But I do have a Will of the West right now, and maybe it's nice to kill off Gandalf and get him turn two. Turn two Gandalf is nice. What do you do? I don't know. I don't know. In, in retrospect, would I do this differently? I'm also thinking, like, how can I get how can I get Aragorn? I want to get Aragorn and Pilar gear. All right, so whatever. I, I got Mirror of Galadriel. That is a nice redraw. So in case I don't roll a Will of the West next turn, I can st I still have a chance to get Gandalf. Uh, they draw a strategy card. That's wise because they're about to attack in, and they'll it'll give them options if they if they happen to draw something that was useful in combat. And I move the Fellowship, and I get missed which is the odds. So I guess my thinking was there was a, only a one-third chance of killing off Gandalf with that with that eye, with, with using a ring. And so I would rather play for the more likely outcome, which is that I'm not going to get hit. And if I'm not going to get hit, I don't want to give them a ring to not get hit. I'd rather play my card. This way, if I want to, I can declare past Dimrald Dale. I mean, I can de declare past Moria and then get Aragorn more more quickly to Minas Tirith. All right, let's see what happens. They attack Lorien. They play Foul Stench. They roll two sixes. Nice for them. I get zero hits. Sad job, Lorien. I lose an elite because this is putting the elves to war and I want to conserve my force pool. And if you use up both of your regulars, they can then do nasty things and like go attack Rivendell. I don't think they would do that, but all right. So I just lose an elite. They redraw Morgul Wound and press. Uh, they play B Black Breath because they're like, I'm not doing anything <laughs> to the fellowship. You have a full fellowship at four movement with the wizard staff. So they're just playing Black Breath. I don't know. Does that leader really matter? Like, I could see playing Morgul Wound round one to cycle it for sure. But now that we're in round two, do you really care that much about killing that leader? It might save you, like, one hit point maybe next round if you press. It might turn off Heroic Death next round. Yeah, I don't... I think I would just save it. I mean, it's, it's not like you need it. You're probably not going to play it as Morgul Wound, but... You can cycle it later. All right. They get one hit and they kill a leader. I get um, one hit back. And they stop there. Okay. I guess they just figure they're not going to get... <coughs> Excuse me. They're not going to get four hits. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So... Okay, that's that combat. Certainly, Lorien is not looking too happy. They drew into Grand. That's nice. Devil of Orthanc, also playable combat card. And what did I get? Um, I will go alone. So I can. I will go alone straight from Dimrodale into Minas Tirith. 
and get Aragorn. And that way I don't have to rush the wizard's staff. Do I declare? Okay, I don't declare. All right. The nice thing about the nice thing about Aragorn to Minas Tirith with I will go alone is if I roll some Palantirs, I can make very good use of Palantirs. All right. It is nice to stay in Rivendell. They can't use cruel weather. They can't play a bunch of cards. But I feel like they've already given up. I mean, they just they've given up on hurting the fellowship. All right, I guess we'll see. They allocate and I roll two more. Uh, sorry, they roll. They allocate and I roll one more, and I get two palantirs. So if I had declared to Dimril Dale, I could use a palantir. I will go alone to Minas Tirith. The second palantir change the character die to a will of the west and get um, Aragorn in Minas Tirith. I don't move the fellowship for a round. Not ideal, I guess. All right. Riders the Eden. Just powering up defenses. That's also good. Drawn to Red Arrow. Happy to see scouts. All right, Grand is going to take out. They play threats. Uh, they play Devilry of War, think. They get two hits. I get three hits back. That's respectable, I guess. Um, and then they take out. Yeah. So, um, Lorien is gone. They I defended it some. They played Grand. They used an extra elite from Half Orcs and Goblin Men, but it didn't quite hold out. Probably still worth a token. All right, they do a nice job mustering getting something ready that can certainly go somewhere this this army in Lorien can still go somewhere else muster an elite in North Dunland do they have any oh and they have Rage of the Dunlandings very nice beautiful alright they use Rage of the Dunlandings this is I think the only card that lets you move armies with a muster so this is a muster die that lets you move armies, which is pretty cool about Rage of the Dead Lindings. All right, they're going to Holland. And and then they have Shadows Gather to teleport this army over to that army, and then they can go take out Lorien. Wow, fancy. All right, so I move. Uh, I said Lorien, but I meant Rivendell. Um I'm safe on that movement. They're getting interesting. So they didn't... One, two, three, four. So they didn't get their army merged up. They didn't bring the Witch King over. I'm a little surprised. I mean, this army isn't big enough to take out Rivendell. All right. I muster my elite in Rivendell for sure. They, and now they're attacking Fords. So they, it was a feint. It was a feint at Rivendell. So it's a little sad that I didn't get these, this very nice army in Edoras. I managed to play Riders of Theoden, but I didn't manage to get them into Helm's Deep. So they are taking nice advantage of this opportunity. And Gandalf the White is nowhere in sight. Um, and this, by the way, the Lorien to Fords of Eisen is a very efficient use of Shadows Gather if you end up having a nice leftover army in Lorien. And I was thinking about that when I tried to muster up Lorien. Even if Lorien falls, at least you don't want that army to be big enough to do something else. But that army is definitely big enough to do something else with Shadows Gather. Um, so do you play scouts here as free people? Like the Red Arrow is pretty nice to power up Edoras and to start messing around with stuff. But... I think I play scouts here to get to just make Helm's Deep a little bit harder. I didn't play a card. No card. My current self disagrees with my past self. I'm like, I'm just going to hope that they don't roll sixes, but they rolled a six. Um, I get one hit. 
they own what they move in oh right so they're moving in four because they will teleport the Lorian army to there all right I play the red arrow now power up and then they jump yeah beautiful look at that so now this army is certainly big enough to take out Helm's Deep um, and the fellowship while doing well is I only have four dice to their nine I do still have wizard staff um, I'm going to have a little bit of an interesting choice at the beginning of next round. Do I want to move immediately with the Fellowship uh, so that I can move before they get the extra reroll? Or do I want to muster again into Rivendell to make sure that they can't take it? Because I have not spent, I still have a decent number of hit points. All right, we prove the Swifter. I guess that lets me get like Aragorn straight to somewhere if I want. Fear fire foes if I want to get the north to war. I've been holding Dane Ironfoot's guard all game and dead men of Dunharrow. I think I get rid of swords and Ariador and probably I will go alone since I now have we proved the swifter. Yep. And I'm also at zero corruption. I mean, I've taken no corruption and I still have wizard staff and I'm at five movement. I do only have four dice though and it's turn four. All right, allocate and I roll one more. Pretty, pretty nice roll. I get one Will of the West, but no other movement. So that is not ideal. I did get a bunch of mustering, though. So maybe I can stir up some trouble. Am I going to muster in Rivendell? I say I was thinking about Rivendell, but maybe it's enough to hold as is. And then I muster an Elite there. <laughs> You're not getting Rivendell. Yeah, because the thing is, yeah, three elites is definitely enough, almost certainly enough to hold against these five regulars and an elite, but they can reinforce it. So better to just make it strong while I can. All right. So they are thinking what to do with Rohan. They are not immediately attacking into Helm's Deep. Um, they play Hill Trolls to get ready. They draw a card, Corsairs of Umbar. Nice for them to see it. I'm glad at least, I mean, they're getting pretty good cards too. So not quite as good as mine last game, but but still pretty good. Um, all right, they move armies and they're attacking. They're now um, putting Rohan to war and letting me muster in Helm's Deep before besieging it. And I guess they were just worried about Edoras. I think my inclination there is use this army to take out Helm's Deep, let Edoras grow and be crazy and do whatever it wants, but like, what's it gonna go do? I guess it goes and retakes Lorien is what it does. Because if this army is in Helm's Deep, then I have a pretty big army. Yeah, all right, so maybe, maybe this is the right way of doing it. And this, by the way, is the benefit of the fact of me holding um, red arrow because it let me progress Rohan towards war and it got me one and a half musters worth of units here in Edoras. So, all right, I am certainly going to muster like crazy in Helm's Deep as much as they'll give me a chance to. I'm thinking they're attacking Edoras. I mean, it's whoa. So they moved three regulars into fold to make sure that I can't escape very easily with this army, but I think I'm just mustering in Helm's Deep. All right, so they only moved one, two units into Fold, and then they moved from Daggerlad into North Athelion. This could let them get Minas Tirith under siege without me mustering in there at all, so that's nice. I muster a regular into Edoras. Really? No. I don't. Good. Instead, I muster an elite into Helm's Deep. I think that's right. Obviously, I want Edoras to inflict a lot of damage on Westamnet, but in the end, I need Helm's Deep to survive. Maybe I could have used that that um, die to attack, but it's also nice to get more hit points on the board and muster units. So, all right. They attack Edoras. This is, they're just going to keep pressing forever because they did take, take over Fold. Um... 
words of power just to cycle it with lidless eye. I think that makes total sense. Um, I play Valor to just try and inflict more damage. I use up Dane Ironfoot's guard. That's interesting. I wonder about other card play, like maybe Dead Men of Dunharrow, maybe Confusion. I guess I'm still thinking I'm gonna get Aragorn. Maybe I think I think I would save the Valor and do Confusion. All right, um, they get two hits. They're only hitting on sixes this round. I get three hits. Oh, did I discard my end card? Didn't I have an end card at some point? Maybe I missed that discard. I'm surprised I discarded my end card. That was a mistake. I'm just gonna look at discarded cards real quick. Um, no, I never drew an end card. What am I thinking? That was their that was a different game. Okay, so I didn't. I never discarded an end card. All right, they do two hits. I do one back. I'm just making things up with the end cards. They redraw into cruel weather. Ooh, that's nice for them. But I am sitting in Rivendell, so they will need to reveal me at some point. I think that encourages, that incentivizes an attack from Forza Bruin and into, um, into Rivendell, so that uh, they get extra rerolls and they're more likely to reveal me. Okay. Um, they're attacking into Edoras. I play Shield Wall. They play Onslaught here? Do you really need to? I like fighting Urukai for the combat effect. I mean, for the card effect. It turns a Palantir into an attack. I'm not sure I need any cards here. You have eight hit points to my five, and you have three leadership to my two. And I don't think you want to kill any of your units to Onslaught against a city. All right. I get they get three hits, which is about what you'd expect hitting on fives, and I get two hits. It's about what we expect for me. These are pretty average combat rules. I only take two because I played shield wall. They continue. They don't play any onslaught, so they just use that card in round two. All right. They're not. Uh, they're noticing the um, shield wall. Okay, so I play Confusion here, hoping to take them out, getting a bunch of ones from them. They get 1-1, one, one, but then they get three hits to me. So that's about what we'd expect. Um, and I get, whoo, I get three hits back. That is above average. So I just did four damage to them, and the Witch King moves in. So he moves into... Western net because otherwise I could counterattack um, and take him out. So that definitely like they just they just took out Edoras. They're gonna have to remuster up, take out Helm's Deep. That that definitely bought Rohan quite a lot of time. Okay. Um they do get it. That is a victory point though. Um I obviously uh, keep moving the fellowship. What was I thinking with the Will of the West at the start of the turn? I was thinking maybe I was going to get a companion, but I mean, get an extra die. So I could have, like, we proved the Swifter with a ring, Strider all the way to Dol Amroth. Did I consider that? I don't know that I considered that. I think I made pretty good use of my musters that round. I got an elite into Rivendell and then two elites into Helm's Deep. That's, that's pretty good use of those dice. They hit me on a six. Wizard Staff goes away. Um, they're moving armies, consolidating for the Witch King. And they had a muster left. So they muster into Orthanc. All right. I draw Athalos. Very happy to see Athalos. While Strider is still in the Fellowship. And they, must, they allocate one eye. Roll three more. And now I get a character, some musters. So so this is a great role for me, I think. I mean, maybe one more character would be good to make sure I kill off Gandalf. But um, am I particularly worried about them moving into 
attacking Rivendell now? I don't know that I am. I don't know that I need to rush these musters. I think if anything, I rush the musters down into Helm's Deep. We'll see. But moving first, good to figure out, okay, is Gandalf dying from the first movement or the second movement? So um, this, by the way, is a moment where had I declared in Dimmerdale, first of all, maybe they would have played cards or got reinforcement or like got rerolls on me more quickly. But second of all, in this scenario, when I do want to kill off Gandalf, if um, a zero reveal is drawn, which is not likely, but possible, um, because there are two of them out of 16, um, if a zero reveal is drawn, I can then move through Moria and actually hope for an extra tile to kill off Gandalf and be happy with it. So corruption is not an issue for me at all. Literally zero tiles have been drawn. This is my seventh move of the game. I did get hit once, but I had wizard staff. And they miss. They miss on that, which is actually not that crazy. It's like 50-50, close to 50-50 on six dice on a six. So, all right. Um... I'm passing here. I'm a little surprised by that, but okay. They're moving in towards Helm's Deep. I use a ring now, of course, because I want to kill off Gandalf. Eighth move, they get three hits, and it's a zero reveal. Ha! Ha! I didn't remember that. Okay, so that is literally the scenario I was talking about. So now I'm very happy to be moving through Moria and hopefully not drawing an eye. Where am I going? Okay, I end up in Eastern M and Wheel. That is eight movement. I get revealed. I want the extra tile. Give me something that kills Gandalf. It's a one. All right, I I'm happy to kill off Gandalf. I'm not, it doesn't matter that it's inefficient. I just want my fifth die. All right, so Gandalf is dead. And um, now they move their armies. They've now merged this army from Baradur, Morinon, all the way over to Westamnet. It was, I think, a slightly inefficient path. I don't remember exactly, but... Um, okay, and then I'm obviously mustering... Am I out of elites? Yeah, so I don't have any more elites in Rohan. And am I mustering a regular, this final regular elven unit? I muster it in Woodland Realm. It's a little risky because I have only two... Uh, regulars in the casualties so that means only two of these elites in Rivendell can downgrade but probably okay all right they attack into Helm's Deep so because of the large force in Edoras it took them a long time to come reinforce this seven hit points in Helm's Deep is probably is like has some chance of holding against this army not certainly not likely but a chance all right, I get Gandalf, Fangorn. Great. They attack into Helm's Deep. They're playing a card. What do I play? Sudden Strike, maybe? I don't know. Maybe nothing. I mean, I have an extra card, so... Probably a sudden... No, okay, no card. They play Desperate Battle uh, and get only one hit. Not great for them. And I get four hits. Oof. The combat has not been great for them. All right. Um, next round they get uh, Pits of Mortar could be useful I mean they have a lot of good cards here maybe they get rid of Monsters Rouse I mean Monsters Rouse is actually useful if they're going to attack Rivendell ever they get rid of Ring Wraiths or Abroad interesting All right. I guess they have the Nazgul where they need them to be no they undo okay they get rid of Pits of Mortar that seems better to me. All right, I get rid of Horn of Gondor and they allocate one eye. They roll two more and I get a bunch of movement. I'm getting into Mordor this round, folks. I hide. I'm just saving all my characters for movement um, because what else am I going to muster? Like, there's nothing else to muster. I don't have um, Kyrdan's ships. I don't have Imrahil of Dol Amroth. So... All right, um, and still South, South Rounds and Easterlings are still a little far away from war for purposes of Corsairs of Umbar. All right, they move from Edoras to Westamnet, 
and fold to Westmanet. They're preparing to reinforce their army again. I move once. I'm safe. They're getting their armies in position. Now Helm's Deep is full again. I move again. I'm hit this time. That's fair. And I get revealed. And quite honestly, um, I'm happy to get revealed there because now I'm immune to Cruel Weather. And they could have played Cruel Weather last time. Given the amount of movement I had, it, I don't think it would have stopped me. But it would have slowed me down a little. All right. I am revealed into minus Morgul. And then they draw three. Okay, well, now they're starting to do something. I do have Athelos. So I think I'm just taking three corruption here. I'm like, great. I have Athelos. I'll heal that. Um, all right. They attack into Helm's Deep. Cruel is... Right. So now they're getting rid of Cruel Weather with Cruel as Death. And I play no quarter. They get two hits. And I get three hits. That army is putting up a good fight. They stop and draw a strategy card. Uh, they draw, we undo, they draw a character card. That's correct. And um, I pass. They attack in Hell's Deep again. They are playing Desperate Battle, I guess. I don't have any cards left to play that are productive. It's a little weird. Like, I don't, don't I want to play Sudden Strike? Any Sudden Strike? No? Save it. I'm like, I'll save it for a different day. It's only one leadership. Not good enough Sudden Strike for me. All right. They get four hits. That's nice. And I get um, only one back. So they have now taken over Rohan, but things took a long time. All right. I get to play my Athelos. I get two healing. Thank you, Strider. Would have been zero without Strider. Well done. And now they play their red tiles. Uh, I draw... Weird. Okay, so I draw a strategy card here. I'm like, Fellowship is fine. I'll just draw a strategy card. And the reason why I'm doing that, I think, is so that I can hide with this character die. So that at the start of next round, I can move immediately. I'm guessing. They get two red tiles in. And I do hide. So the risk of hiding before um, the last action, if I don't have the last action, is that then they could play a tile drawing card like Orc Patrol or Foul Thing from the Deep or Isildur's Bane and then reveal me with one of these reveals. And if you're revealed in a stronghold, they get an extra tile. So I just didn't want to risk that extra tile. All right. Um, I get Bilbo's Song. These are all it's a good card. Power to Great could be useful for fending them off of Rivendell if they ever try that. Um, I probably just get rid of a Sudden Strike. Yep, could have played that as a combat card last round. Fellowship declares into Mordor. They allocate one eye and roll one more. And I roll not a great roll, but two movement, not horrible. And with Strider as guide, if I get revealed here, I can use these musters productively to hide. All right, I do get revealed. It's two damage. Am I going to take a random companion? Or am I going to take two damage? I think I'm going to take two. Yep, take two. That seems right. Because I want to be able to use these musters to hide and make, make progress on the track. All right, they are getting the South Rounds and Easterlings toward war. I hide. They play Foul Thing from the Deep. Very nice. So normally it's better to, if you have it, it's nicer to play it before they're on the um, Mordor track because then you don't risk hitting your own eyes. But, I mean, there are quite a few things that could mess with the Fellowship here. Four tiles reveal, and you also have a chance to get rid of Strider, which is great. And they do reveal. Okay, not great to draw the stop tile because you want to leave those in, but it is a one reveal which is very pleasant, especially if you get Strider. Do they get Strider? Pippin. Uh, okay. For them. Good for me. But um, still, you know, I think I think the Fellowship is doing pretty well. Um, so, so getting rid of Strider like that could really slow them down. All right. Um, I'm revealed. I hide again with the Muster, continuing to use Strider's ability. Definitely doing well by that. Um, 
South rounds and Easterlings are now at war, so Day Without Dawn is a threat. I'm guessing I will use my Will of the West now. I do. I move. It's a one. I take one corruption. All right, they get the Mouth of Sauron. I pass. Um, they move to Trollshaws and Umbar. So we certainly foresee Corsairs of Umbar coming. Corsairs of Umbar. I am now in siege. I must, I use a ring to move the fellowship again. And I guess my thinking is, since I have two rings left, I can use one ring this round and another ring next round. I don't want to hit an eye, but, okay, a two. I think I'm gonna take a random here. I don't think I wanna go up to seven. Random. And they get Strider. So not great for me. That was only 20% chance. But I'm probably okay. Probably. We'll see. Um, I do need I do need two movement next round. And to avoid the um, possibly three with a reveal. And to avoid the red tile. So. But I, I'm hidden right now. All right, they come in, they take out Dol Amroth, right? Dol Amroth is gonna die a horrible death? Okay, Dol Amroth has been completely obliterated. They're up to seven victory points. And where are they gonna get the rest? They could take Dale and the Shire and Pelargir. Doesn't seem crazy. They could try and take Rivendell. Excuse me, that seems unlikely. Uh, okay. It's late here. All right, let's see. I draw Thrandall's Archers. I'm happy to see it. File of Galadriel, good. If I happen to draw a bunch of, if I happen to roll a bunch of Palantirs, I'll play that before um, moving. Uh, they got Balrog and Denethor's Folly. Not helping them. Those are bad draws at this point in the game. I get rid of Thrandall's Archers, I guess, thinking that I can just muster if they're coming. Gondor is at war, right? They allocate an eye, roll. Uh, two more. I wonder if this is a situation where they allocate four eyes and then hope to roll one more and then they could do three corruption damage. I don't know. Yeah, this is just, this. I guess they just hope that I don't roll that I just hope that I don't roll a bunch of movement. I rolled three movement. That is probably too much. They only got um, two attacks, which is way below average for for eight dice, nine dice. They should get four and a half attacks. So yeah, I'm just gonna move along. One corruption. I think I just start taking randoms now. Boromir, yeah, fine. They draw a card, I move, and it's nine. yeah. So, yeah, um, their military was just, I think, a little too slow in Rohan. And, yeah, I don't really know. I mean, turn eight, ring victory is relatively fast. Let's look at the statistics. So these are flip-flopped. I don't know why. They were plus two on sixes. I was a little bit high on my combat rolls, but not that high. They were plus two on eyes. Oh, look at this. This is what happened. They're minus four attack dice. So they're just not able to attack as much. Um, I was quite high on musters, which ended up, I think, serving me relatively well, as particularly in Rohan. I had them when I needed. So yeah, good match, good game. So I advance now to the round of 64. Thank you very much for the match, Mixer259, and hope everybody enjoyed this game. Have a good rest of the day.